Well, good day, guys. And yes, we have VR for Pinball FX. <laughs> and here we are in the room, although I'm in a slightly different angle than we would normally be if we were not in VR. But uh, interesting to me is that, look, there's a Zen Studios building outside that window, which I've never seen before. And there's some other cool little room with a pinball and another room at the back. I've never seen that before either, guys, because you don't normally get to just free roam your eyes around here. And if you've noticed something strange going on over here, <laughs> That's because we have the Unreal Engine VR injection going on, which gives us VR in any Unreal Engine game. And of course, Pinball FX is now on Unreal Engine. So we have full VR with a few little things in terms of um, you know, some of the displays for the menus and so forth that weren't built for VR guys, so it's going to look a, a little odd, some of those things. And when we get into the game, the full game itself is perfectly playable, beautiful in VR. Some of the outside elements of the cabinet, which you'll see, um, may not be quite right, because again, they weren't built for someone to be looking around in VR guys. So I just fired it up, and just so you know, um, UEVR, um, search that on GitHub. I'll leave some links. Uh, to our Discord forum, we'll have the links in there. Uh, you can grab it, it's free to download. And super, super easy. There's no initial sort of setup. There's a profile for Pinball M that also works for Pinball FX. And we're gonna use that profile today. I'll have a link to that as well. And uh, effectively, you just run the program up, then you run Pinball FX, and you go to the program, and after you've loaded the, uh, the, the preset, then you just go inject and then bang, it just turns it into this mode. <laughs> Suddenly you are in glorious VR, guys. It's glorious. And you have this little uh, screen that comes up on the side here, this little uh, menu. And first of all, you can see I'm, I should be centered in front of me here. So what I can do is I can just choose recenter view and whammo. Now it is in front of me, which is good. And we might have to um, adjust the, the standing and stuff when we get into a game, but we'll get into a game first, just so I can uh, show you. Now again, the, the way that the menus work, still work with all your, uh, your keys. I can just move this out the way. Um, you can actually get rid of the settings and stuff as well. And I haven't gone through all the settings guys yet. I've just got it to play. And because it played so well, I've just gone in and played probably lots of other configurations that can be done potentially um, to improve the menu experience and stuff, perhaps, I don't know. And so if we go into the tables here, what I might do is I'll scroll down, just use my mouse, uh, I still have my little um, pin, little mini pin cab controller. So it's the same controls I would normally use. And I'm gonna go over to uh, Godzilla and Kong. Godzilla versus Kong. Fire it up. And guys, this is so bizarre. Even this little intro here, I mean, this is all for me, it's all 3D, you know? It's completely free roam 3D, it's quite bizarre. All right, so let's get into the table and you'll see what it looks like. Welcome fellow Titan chasers to episode number 116 of the Titan Trackers podcast brought to you by Lizzie. Still no confirmed Titan <laughs> sightings, though things appear to be heating up at Apex Cybernetics. We're hoping to get fresh info to you from the Apex Insider at Titan Truth within the next few hours, so stay tuned. Guys, look at this ridiculousness. <laughs> we are full VR. And it just looks sensational, guys. I can read the designers down there. It's just beautiful. You can just see everywhere where you normally couldn't. Look anywhere you want in full VR 3D. And then on the outside, guys, you can see we're in this cave. Now, this is one table where the cave and so forth looks almost sort of complete. 
I've still got my settings over there on the right. Um, but yeah, you can see, if I look behind here, there's a bit of a gap in between the, the graphics there. Funnily enough, if I look at around the side of the, uh, the pin machine, without bumping my head or something, um, it's actually transparent on this side and not on this side. And that's the same with all the tables. It's obviously hovering in midair at the moment. And you can see our high score table sort of stuck behind there and not up here. You'll see some, I, I think I've come across one other than the Williams tables, um, which actually has a header, header box on it. But otherwise, yeah, it's just sort of, the score's just hanging out. But look, if I start it and... <laughs> this is crazy. Now I'm gonna to be too far away from the tables. I'll just sort of show you um, what I need to do is to just realign myself now i don't know if you can set these cameras up guys and i think that's something you can do and then save it and i think i haven't quite loaded the profile properly or something uh, again all fairly new to this so at the moment what i can do is i can set my standing origin and come back here that gives me close now i'm a little high so I set standing height and dip my head okay now when i shoot this because the table moves I'm going to have to click back onto the table. All right, so we should be going. No, no yeah, here we go. That gets us back in. It might be a little close to it, but we'll go with it just for the moment. You guys, I'll probably move my head around a lot and make you guys sick, um, but uh, sorry about that. But I sort of just love enjoying this in VR guys because when I first started this I just couldn't believe how much better the Zen tables in particular are um, you know I played a lot of the Williams tables in VPX in VR and they're sensational so playing the Williams tables in VR in <coughs> Pimble FX sure it works and stuff and yep it's, it's very cool but it's these originals which just now have a whole new life. Guys, you've got a full 3D view. Um, and then, you know, you've got this outside area, which again, is not always complete on every table. But this is an awesome way to play Pinball FX. Now, we've got a little bit of stutter because I'm recording. But without recording, guys, this is full smooth beautiful to play uh, perhaps i'll back the, the camera angle off a little because i know that um the recording well actually you probably can see everything that i can see i oh, know maybe not probably a cut off let's go cut off let's go oh man okay so if i if i got my uh, i have to let my uh flipper go i think yeah get my mouse back where is it there we go so if I just reset my view, standing position, let's just go about there. Of course, it still um, moves around, you know, because I mean, again, it's not set up for VR, right? Um, so you have to sort of deal with just some of these little things. But once you get used to it, there we go, we're a little bit back now. You can get a really good game going guys in VR. Of course, remember, I'm seeing this in 3D. No so stuff flying across the screen there in 3D, just flying across, hitting the side of the table. It's this is this is what then should have been. This is what they should have done from the outset, guys. And quite frankly, I want to know why when they released Pimble Effects, they didn't come straight out of the gate with VR because this is the biggest selling point. Of these original tables is when they're That's in VR, for Titan trackers today, my because it's listeners. it's just Be sure beautiful. And it's just so much better in terms of appreciating the artwork that's gone into this stuff. You know, I can read the the designer on there, mechanics, artwork, character animations, QA technicians. Guys, look at look at the quality in here, and you just don't get to appreciate this when it's not in, in VR. Welcome, and I, and I love this initial flying around the table, except Lizzie. this uh, person no narrator is really annoying. Things appear to be 
Look at this. Look at this guy. <laughs> I have been in and out of all the tables, oh, all of that beautiful water there, and just marveling at the art detail. That chrome. Look at that. Man. Look over the boat. Yeah. Mm. Looks a little bit dodgy down there. Got to go check out all the other tables and see, guys. Wow. Wow. Oh my God. Yeah, leave a comment below. Does this um, Unreal Engine VR uh, injection, uh, you can inject into like so many Unreal Engine games. Uh, Unfortunately, GTA is not an Unreal Engine game because that was what initially I thought, I can go VR and GTA, and it's like, oh, damn, no. Um, so it has to be Unreal Engine. Uh, but, oh, what a gift. Given the fact that Pinball FX, you know, moved off their own engine on FX3 and into Unreal, and we thought we'd get a lot more <clears throat> added graphics and, you know, effects, which, I, you know, I don't think they done as much as potentially they could and I know they use Unreal Engine 4 maybe 5 could give them more but uh, it frustrates me I mean even with the standard graphics I think they could have done more but as soon as you just switch it into VR and clearly the platform supports it this is the maddening thing is that it's supported it for so long and sure there's a lot of assets and stuff that have to be done to get the games in a nice glossy you know workable VR solution on a commercial front to me, I'd be roping some guys in on the weekends to get that done. <laughs> Just get it done, get it out there now, get people playing this and loving Pinball FX, the originals. As I said, even more so than, um, you know, the recreations of Williams, which are cool. And you know, some of you guys are going to really love that, especially if you haven't played it in VPX VR. But those that have played the VPX versions, I mean, they're very, very good. You can enjoy all these original tables, and now it just elevates them so much higher, in my view, in terms of their fun factor. And Zen can go all in and, and add more effects and animations for this whole VR experience. People can still do it in, in 2D and you know and and enjoy it just as much and then as vr becomes more prominent and they know that they've got a platform that they've invested into that supports future vr for them <sighs> then if you want a chief strategy officer let me know i'm available <laughs> i am available my goodness so much could be done anyway guys that's where we're going to leave it uh something out of the blue didn't expect to do this uh, thanks again for, for uh, supporting the channel, subscribing, liking, commenting, all that good stuff. We'll see you on the next th next episode. Lots again. We'll change this year. So much happening. Uh, but yeah, looking forward to seeing you then. Until then, ciao for now.